Hey, soap enthusiasts! Ever wondered how that little bar of soap sitting in your bathroom is made? From creamy bars to luxurious liquid hand washes, soap is a staple we use every day. Today, we're diving deep into the world of soap making. We'll be covering each step, but before we do, make sure you like the video and subscribe to Timeless Journey so you never miss a video. Let's get into the video. Let's talk about something we use every single day, soap. Yep, that humble bar or bottle that keeps us smelling fresh and feeling squeaky clean. It's easy to take soap for granted, but imagine life without it. Yuck, right? We wash our hands with soap, scrub our bodies with soap, and even clean our dishes with soap. It's the unsung hero of hygiene, fighting off germs and grime like a champ. But have you ever stopped to wonder how this magical substance is made? Well, get ready to roll up your sleeves and dive into the wonderful world of soap making. By the end of this sudsy journey, you might even be inspired to try making your own. So, let's get started. Before we start whipping up batches of bubbly goodness, let's get down to the basics. Soap is something we use every day, but how often do we stop to think about what it really is? What exactly is soap, anyway? It's more than just a bar that sits by your sink or in your shower. In simple terms, soap is a type of salt, but hold on, this isn't the kind of salt you sprinkle on your fries. Table salt and soap may share a name, but they serve very different purposes in our lives. Soap is created through a fascinating chemical reaction called saponification. This process is the heart of soap making. Don't let the fancy word scare you, it's actually pretty cool. Saponification is what transforms ordinary fats and oils into the soap we use to clean ourselves. Basically, we combine fats or oils with an alkali like lye and voila. Soap is born. This reaction creates molecules that have a unique ability to trap dirt and oils, making them easy to wash away. This process has been around for centuries, with evidence of soap making dating back to ancient Babylon. Early soap makers discovered that mixing ashes and animal fats produced a substance that could clean. Early civilizations used ashes and animal fats to create a crude form of soap. It was a rudimentary process, but it laid the foundation for modern soap making. Thankfully, we've come a long way since then. Today, soap making is both a science and an art. Today, we have a much better understanding of the science behind soap making. We can control the ingredients and the process to create soaps that are not only effective, but also gentle on the skin. We use a wider variety of ingredients and techniques to create luxurious and effective soaps. From essential oils to exotic butters, the possibilities are endless. But the basic principle remains the same transforming fats into cleansing agents through the magic of saponification. This age-old process continues to be the cornerstone of soap making, connecting us to our ancient past while allowing for modern innovation. Now that we know the science behind soap, let's talk ingredients. The magic of soap making lies in the careful selection and combination of these ingredients. Just like a good recipe, soap making requires the right combination of components to create a successful outcome. Each ingredient plays a crucial role in the final product, influencing its texture, lather, and skin benefits. The three main players in our soap opera are fats, oils, and lye. These core ingredients work together to create the soap we use every day. First up, we have our fats and oils. These are the building blocks of soap providing the necessary fatty acids for the saponification process. These can be animal-based, like tallow or lard, which are known for producing a hard, long-lasting bar of soap with a creamy lather, or plant-based, like coconut oil, olive oil, or shea butter. Plant-based oils are popular for their moisturizing properties and the variety of textures they can create. Each type of fat or oil brings its own unique properties to the soap. For instance, some oils are known for their cleansing abilities while others are prized for their conditioning effects. For example, Coconut oil creates a hard, bubbly bar, perfect for those who love a rich lather, while olive oil produces a milder, more conditioning soap, ideal for sensitive skin or those looking for a gentle cleanse. Next, we have the star of the show lye. This powerful alkali is essential for the saponification process, where fats and oils are transformed into soap. Lye, also known as sodium hydroxide, is an alkali that triggers the saponification process. Without lye, soap simply wouldn't exist. It's a powerful chemical that needs to be handled with care, but don't worry, we'll get to safety precautions later. Finally, we need water. Water is the unsung hero in soap making. Water acts as a solvent, helping to dissolve the lye and combine it with the fats and oils. It ensures that the lye is evenly distributed throughout the mixture. 
It also plays a role in controlling the temperature of the reaction. The right temperature is crucial for achieving the perfect consistency and texture in your soap. By carefully selecting and combining these ingredients, we can create a wide variety of soaps, each with its own unique characteristics. From moisturizing bars to exfoliating scrubs, the possibilities are endless. It's like having a soap-making laboratory right in your kitchen. With a bit of creativity and experimentation, you can craft soaps that are not only functional but also beautiful and personalized. All right, folks, it's showtime. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of soap making. Let's dive into the heart of soap making, the saponification process. This is where the magic happens, turning simple ingredients into luxurious soap. Don't worry, it's not as complicated as it sounds. With a bit of guidance, you'll be crafting your own soap in no time. With the right tools and a little bit of patience, anyone can master this ancient craft. First things first, safety. Safety is paramount in soap making. When working with lye, it's crucial to wear gloves and eye protection. Lye is a strong alkaline substance that can cause serious burns. Lye can cause burns, so handle it with care and work in a well-ventilated area. Proper ventilation ensures that any fumes are safely dispersed. Now let's get started. We'll begin by carefully dissolving the lye in water. This step is crucial and must be done with precision. Remember, always add lye to water, not the other way around. This prevents any dangerous splashes or reactions. This will create a lye solution, which will react with our fats and oils. The reaction is what transforms these ingredients into soap. Next, we'll gently heat our chosen fats and oils until they're melted and liquefied. This step ensures that the fats and oils are in the perfect state for saponification. Once both the lye solution and the oils have cooled to the correct temperature, we'll slowly combine them, stirring constantly. The temperature is key to ensuring a smooth mixture. As we stir, the magic of saponification begins. This is where the lye and oils start to transform. The lye and oils react, transforming the mixture into a thick, pudding-like substance called trace. Trace is a sign that the soap is forming correctly. Trace is the point at which the saponification process is well underway. At this stage, you can add any fragrances or colors to personalize your soap. Adding essential oils and colors can make your soap unique and tailored to your preferences. This is where creativity comes into play. Finally, pour the mixture into molds and let it set. The soap will need to cure for several weeks before it's ready to use. And there you have it. From simple fats and oils to beautiful, handmade soap. Enjoy your creation and the satisfaction of making something from scratch. Section 5. Colorful Creations Adding Flair to Your Soap Now that our soap base has reached trace, it's time to unleash our creativity. This is where we can add colors, fragrances, and other goodies to personalize our soap creations. Want to create a soothing lavender soap? Simply add a few drops of lavender essential oil to the trace. Looking for a vibrant swirl of color? Divide the soap batter into separate containers and add a few drops of soap safe dye to each. The possibilities are endless. You can add exfoliants like oatmeal or coffee grounds, moisturizing ingredients like honey or aloe vera, or even botanicals like dried flowers or herbs. Remember, a little goes a long way when it comes to additives. Start with small amounts and gradually add more until you achieve the desired effect. And always make sure your additives are safe for use in soap. Section 6. Shaping your suds from mold to masterpiece. Once we've added our personal touches, it's time to pour the soap batter into molds. Soap molds come in all shapes and sizes, from simple rectangular loaves to intricate designs. You can even find molds that create soap bars shaped like animals, flowers, or other fun objects. Carefully pour the soap batter into the molds, tapping gently to release any air bubbles. Then cover the molds with plastic wrap or a lid to insulate them and allow the saponification process to continue. Now comes the hard part, waiting. The soap needs to sit undisturbed for 24 to 48 hours to harden. This is a crucial step, as it allows the saponification process to complete and the soap to become safe for use. Section 7. The Waiting Game Curing Your Creations After patiently waiting for our soap to harden, it's time for the final stage curing. Curing is the process of allowing the soap to dry and age, which helps to create a harder, longer-lasting bar. Carefully remove the soap from the molds and cut it into bars. Then arrange the bars in a single layer on a well-ventilated surface. Allow the soap to cure for at least four to six weeks, flipping the bars occasionally to ensure even drying. During the curing process, the excess water evaporates from the soap and the pH level drops, making it gentler on the skin. The soap will also continue to harden, resulting in a longer-lasting bar. 
Section 8, From Kitchen to Bathroom, The Final Touches. Congratulations, you've made it to the finish line. Your soap is cured and ready to use. But before you lather up, there are a few final touches you can add to elevate your creations from homemade to handmade. First, you can bevel the edges of your soap bars for a more polished look. This is easily done with a vegetable peeler or a soap beveler. You can also stamp your soap with a logo or design using a custom soap stamp. Finally, wrap your soap bars in attractive paper or fabric and label them with the scent and ingredients. This is a great way to personalize your creations and make them gift worthy. Section 9, Soap Air Star. You're a scientist and an artist, and there you have it folks, you've journeyed through the fascinating world of soap making, from the science of saponification to the art of adding colors and fragrances. You've learned about the essential ingredients, the step-by-step -step process, and the importance of safety and patience. But most importantly, you've discovered that soap making is more than just a hobby, it's a blend of science and art, a way to express your creativity while creating something practical and beautiful. So go forth and experiment, try different combinations of oils, colors, and fragrances, embrace the creative process and don't be afraid to make mistakes. After all, that's how we learn and grow. And who knows, you might just discover a hidden talent for soap making. You might even become the next soaper star.